In this video, we will demonstrate the use of the Live Optics Scan feature, also known as Dossier. Select File from the Scan Categories and click the Start button from Dossier. There are three options to choose from. Let's select two drives, D and E, and you'll see it added on the right under Drives and Paths. Let's add some paths by selecting Select Paths and Browse Folder. Choose the directory path to scan and select OK. The directory path will also be added to the list. Let's try to add a directory path that is located on OneDrive, but we know that the system will not allow this path to be added as this is not supported. We can also manually specify a directory path. In this example, we will add an encrypted folder. Since it is encrypted, we will be asked to specify user credentials to authenticate. Let's cancel out of this. Another example is entering a network directory, which will also require user credentials to authenticate. If the provided credentials are invalid, we will receive an error. Let's try again with the correct credentials, and you'll see the remote path added to the list as well. If you have a text file containing a list of directory paths to scan, you can select Import from File and Import Text List to import the list of paths. If the list contains a path that was already included, it will report an error that the path has been added. In any dossier scan, we are limited to specifying a maximum of 20 paths. In this example, we are attempting to add more than 20 paths from the list. Therefore, the remaining paths will not be added. An error indicating max path limit reached will be specified. For this demo, we will only scan drives D and E, so let's remove the other paths. In the next step, we can check if the scanned files are compressible. Enable this by toggling the test for compressibility. You can specify the percentage of the total number of files to be analyzed that will be tested for compressibility. You can also specify the buffer size to be used when testing for data reducibility. Please note that increasing these values will have an impact on the scan duration. You can also choose to enable verbose logging which adds more details during the scan into the logs. These logs can be sent to support if requested. Next, you can specify a different file name for the dossier file and the location to where it will be saved. The default file name will include the server name and the date and time of the scan. Upon clicking Next, the scan will start. You'll see here that the scan on drive E completed already and drive D will be completing soon. Once the scan is complete, you can upload the dossier file to Live Optics to generate a report. Thank you and we hope you found this useful.